Hey everyone! Today we're going to do this orca whale painting that's based on a painting that my niece Mara made. Southern resident orcas are endangered. There's actually only 73 left in the wild and they're starving because they don't have enough salmon to eat. So this is a very important project. You're gonna have these, um, these templates to look at. So look at the shape and just do your best to create it. Maybe start with kind of a rounded oval on your paper like that, a rounded oval shape that gets narrower and goes down into the water. So kind of like a curved rounded oval shape like that. And then once you have that shape, you can go back and refine it and add um, a fin here. Then you can do um, the water line. And then the background, you can do some mountains. I'm gonna start by painting um, my water in the background. And I'm gonna add some yellows at the top, maybe some white. I'm going to take a tissue and pinch my brush and windshield wiper it. I'm going to dip it in the water and I'm going to pinch it, windshield wiper it. This helps keep paint out of the water and out of our oceans. Now I'm going to go over this while it's still wet. I'm going to go over this to soften it with some white, make it kind of a more pastel yellow color. Pinch, windshield wiper, dip, pinch, windshield wiper, get it nice and dry. And I'm gonna get some more yellow and kind of bring it, bring it down into my painting like this. Okay. And I can do the same with the white. So it's kind of moving like, pinch, and shield wiper. I'm gonna get some more white now, maybe a little bit more, scoop it up and spread it around. So see how I'm starting to kind of slowly mix them together a little bit. Fill in all the white spots. It's a great time to start mix, mixing them together. And I've got some, a different shade of blue here. I can try working that in there too. You're mixing the color directly on your painting while the paint is wet, it creates a very beautiful effect. And I can even let this dry and then as, as my niece did here, go back over that with some um, very crisp yellow brush strokes. I could even add some of this lighter blue color and little bits of white too in the water. So I'm gonna do this part in here right now and just be really careful of your, keep your sleeves rolled up. Be really careful of that. So I'm gonna start with, um, with some white here cause I, I don't want it to get too dark. So I'm gonna just kind of add some white into these mm -hmm. mountains 
and then I can paint over them with some black and blue. It's still, while it's still wet, I'm going to add some black. I'm gonna mix these colors together while they're nice and wet. Okay, now I'm gonna add some blue on top of that. I'm, letting, I'm not blending the color all together because I want it to be a little unblended. So I'm kind of dabbing with my brush. So I'm gonna start with some red at the bottom. And be careful with this line here if it's still wet, just be very careful. You wanna use enough paint that it's, it's wet enough to blend with what you're adding on top of it. So while this red is still wet, I'm gonna be adding some orange. And I'm gonna put some, some yellow in now. Pinch, windshield wiper, dip, pinch, windshield wiper. And see how I can kind of um, get some texture of just dabbing my brush very gently like this and not mixing the colors all together, but letting that kind of mix right on the paper. Just wanna get the, the edges really carefully and be careful of any wet, wet paint that you're working around. This pectoral fin is kind of tricky. We can outline it along the edges with white so that we can see it a little bit better. Now, if I want to take a clean brush and just a little bit of white along the edges and along the top or even yellow, that would be great. A little bit. And I could do the same along the top. Yeah, it really helps if your paint's still a little bit wet. If you go too much, you can just add some black on top of it if it looks weird. Just go back over it with some black paint till you get it how you like it. Add some splashes of water. So I'm going to take a clean, dry brush and I'm going to pick up some white paint, a brush, and I'm going to do, I think maybe just a little bit of time actually. If this is dry, it'll work much better. And I'm just going to do some, um, this might even work with a, like a um, smaller brush. splashes of water. 
so I can also, now that this is a little bit more dry, I could go back and add some um, streaks of blue in here. So it's not quite a solid yellow. And then I can also do that, uh, add some maybe more streaks of yellow on the bottom. Now is a great time to add a few seagulls up at the top. So you can do kind of like a V shape like that, or you could do um, kind of their wings coming down. And if they're different sizes, they look like they're in different places all over the place. So it's nice to have a variety of sizes. Like I could do one really small one back here. 